Hello everybody, it's Neko here and welcome to my bathroom. In this video I'll be showing you how to style a short boy cut cosplay wig just for the latest project I'm working on. I'm not going to tell you who it is just yet because I'm really really excited about this and I want to keep it as much of a secret as I possibly can. This is the wig in question just here and when it arrived it didn't arrive as nice and flat and straight and I'll put some pictures on the screen now so you can see what I mean. It was a bit of a mess, it was more like a fluffy bed head than anything else but it was still kind of cute but not the look I was going for. Especially when you're styling hair you kind of want it to be as flat as possible just to get a nice even cut all around the edges and then you can style it afterwards so as it was it wasn't gonna work. <laughs> So to straighten the hair, initially what I did was I just took some boiling water straight from the kettle and I put it in my shower tray on this little mannequin head. You're going to want to have something holding it rather than your hands because you're going to be pouring boiling hot water over this pathetic hair, which is going to hurt if you don't put it on something like a mannequin head. So once that was done, I let it drip dry in the shower tray for a little while before I took it out and just let it just air dry overnight basically and it's come out really well. In fact, when I just let it dry initially, the ends did dry because it is quite a thin wig, it's not as thick as the other wigs that I've owned in the past. So it's going to be a challenge for me today as well. So let's put this baby on and start styling. So here's the wig on. I'm actually really in love with the colour and the style of it, but right now I'm trying to grow out my hair. So I don't think chopping it all off and having it like this is going to be the best idea, but if that fails then we'll just go. And as you can see, it's already a lot better than it was beforehand. When I tried it on last night, it was just a fluffy. So when you do style your wigs, you're going to want to make sure that you're in a room that has a tile or a laminate floor, just so it's easy for cleanup afterwards. I wouldn't recommend doing this in a room with carpet, just because they're really fine plastic fibres, and if they go into your feet, also another tip I recommend is not doing it over the sink because obviously you don't want all this plastic going down your drain and blocking that or even just generally getting into the waterways. It's not going to be very good for you. So once you've got all of that down, what you're going to need is a comb and a pair of scissors. And it's always a good thing to remember to have a reference picture of your character, like I've got just down here, just on display so you know what your character actually looks like. And don't get pictures of just them from the front, get them from like the side or from the back, just so you know how their entire hair looks. And this piece just here is really bothering me. So the character I'm cosplaying already has kind of long-ish hair at the back, so I'm not going to cut too much off from the back. It's mostly the front that I'm going to be focusing on today, which is fine. And if this is your first time styling a wig, then I recommend maybe just buying a cheaper wig and trying it out first. You're gonna ruin a few wigs. I have about seven wigs in my wardrobe and I ruined probably about four of them just for cutting weird or just trying to do things on it that just synthetic hair can't because obviously it's not real hair. So just remember to take your time when you're cutting a wig. Don't rush it. There is no need to rush it. Now when I cut my wigs I like to do them in a feathering motion just so it's not a clean straight edge. If your character does have like clean straight fringes and clean straight hair, then it's fine just to take a pair of scissors and just chop it straight off. But mine doesn't. So what I do is I take the pair of scissors and I very lightly close them so you can see that only the ends are closing. I'm not closing them entirely, it's just the very, very tips that I'm closing ever so slightly. And then when I'm cutting that, I do that up and down and up and down so it creates a nice feathered end rather than a straight, straight edge. You may also find on wigs as well that they want to go in a certain direction, so this wig wants to go over my left eye, as you can see just here. It's the way the wig has been rooted, so it will be rooted just up here and it will want to come this way. If I try to style it the other way, you just see it's not quite going right and it's not... It doesn't quite want to fall that way, even if I'm pulling it over and even if I take my comb and brush it over. It's, it just doesn't want to, it doesn't want to go. <laughs> so that's always generally a good thing to remember because you're going to want to know where the hair wants to lie on your face. So what I'm going to do now is just cut the wig so that the fringe is all level and then I can start actually styling it because this character has this bit that comes at the front and then it sort of goes off to the sides like, like so. What I've done is I've just pinned up parts of the hair that aren't a part of the actual fringe bit just here. So 
So I'm not gonna accidentally cut any hair that I don't want to cut. And I'm aware that these side parts are slightly longer, so I'm gonna tend to avoid those as much as I can if I'm cutting this and just focus on this main chunk just here. She says grabbing most of the side parts she doesn't want to cut. <laughs> Whenever you cut your fringe or your bangs or whatever you want to call them, you're going to want to hold your hair a little bit lower than where you actually want to cut it because the scissors are going to be going on top and just going up and down and up and down. And the reason for this is to hold the hair underneath so you're not trying to like chop off but the hair underneath and then it's getting too awkward. It just, it makes your life easier. And if it makes it easier for you as well to spray it with some water, I've never had that myself because it's synthetic hair and it doesn't quite react the way that real hair does. Um, but who knows, you might find it easier, just do whatever works for you. So you can see already that that is a lot better, but the idea is that you just want to take a little bit off at a time. You can always take more off, but you can add any back on. So just Remember that rule when you're cutting your hair and just go slow and steady because there is no rush. And that's it, that's pretty much the basics on how to style hair. I can't really tell you much more than that unless you want a specific here's how to style this character or here's how to style this character because obviously everyone is different but now that you have the basics down you can at least try to style it in your own way. If you have already guessed the character please don't say anything in the comments because I'm really really excited about this and I have a horrible feeling that it's going to fall through. Hopefully not, fingers crossed. As always, leave me suggestions for any crafty creations in the comment box below and I'll be back next week with another video for you guys. Until then, take care. Bye.